love my love and welcome back to my channel um i am going to be using this uh yarn wool slash stuff um for this tutorial and i did get this from michael's on the clearance rack so what you want to start off with is a they call it a slip knot so you just want to make a loop twist it a few times and then pull the loose end through now once you've gotten your slip knot you just want to make what they call a chain and depending on how thick or thin your fabric not fabric <laughs> yarn is depends on how much uh how, how long you're gonna make the chain so since mine was super thick and my head is you know a semi-decent size i did 10 loops on my chain so one i'm trying to show you two you just really you just pull it through and then it just really depends on how big your head is or you know what i'm saying it just depends the circumstances on uh you could easily you know measure around your head just to make sure it's gonna fit but other than that it's super easy <laughs> So here I'm just showing you the finished chain and I'm basically showing you how many stitches I did. Like I said, I think I did about 10, um, but it really just depends. So you could, you could take my, um, you know, stitch count, but it really doesn't matter. Now we're going to start on our second row. Now here, you just wanna do another stitch and you want to start to weave the thread through the initial chain that we made. So you wanna go under, there's like two sections to each chain. So you wanna take the lower portion, there you go, the one underneath, the hole underneath, and you just want to pull that straight through. It probably sounds a little bit complicated, but I show you several different times. Um, so you just want to take the yarn and pull it through the bottom loop. So just pull it up like such until you get to the end of the chain. Now that we made it to the end, we're going to connect the two ends, the two end loops together to create a circle. So that's super easy. I feel like the hardest part was making the second row. From here on out, it's super easy. So you just wanna take the two end loops and just create a loop within that, as you can see in this next clip. Now that you've done this, you can continue on with this row. So continue to knit. Um, but before that, this little loose end, you just kind of want to tie this away. There's no specific way that I do this, but I just try to knot it up so it doesn't, you know, begin to unloop all the loops that we did because that is the beginning portion. But yes, you just want to continue to go around. Um, the start of a new row is where your little, um, the piece that we just tied off, that's going to be the beginning of each row. So once you get all the way around to that section, that, mean you are, that means you are starting a new row. And I did about, since my yarn was so thick, I did about five rows all together. And then we ended up doing the last row. We do that different. Um, and we'll, I'll tell you, obviously. But I did five regular rows. So I just continued to go around this five times. And then we did end up closing it off. So, yeah. I'm just going to let you keep seeing me, you know, finish her up. and telling you to keep going. <laughs>
once you start to build your hat up, it is going to start looking like this. So this was after I had completed my fifth row and I was just preparing to close the actual top of the hat off. So to close the hat off, you are going to alternate between looping two of the loops together, then keeping one by itself, looping two together and keeping one by itself. So this is what I mean. So you're gonna take two of the loops, loop it through like that. So two of the loops are looped. And once you go on to the next one, you just are going to take a single loop and loop that through like usual. And then next you wanna loop two together like this. And then again, after these two, you're just gonna do a single loop. And then you continue this pattern until you go to the beginning of the chain. And then we're almost done. Once you've completed that row, you just wanna snip off the excess wool or yarn or whatever you wanna call it. And then this is me just gathering all of the loops together now because you're just gonna take that free end and put it through all of the loops and then you're gonna tighten it up and it's gonna close the top of the hat. Be sure if you do, are you if you are using this same yarn, you wanna be careful because it is kind of fragile. Um, but yeah, once you do that, you're just gonna stick the loose end through and kind of just knot it off. So this is how it looks when it's all together at the top. And then you just wanna push that loose little tail through and kind of just make a knot just to keep it from doing its own thing. And now we're going to make the puff ball. Now this part is super easy. You're just gonna wanna wrap um, some of the excess yarn around your hand about maybe six to seven times, depending on how big you want it. And then you are gonna take a piece of string and tie it in the middle and just cut each loop to where it's just a free, you know, freestanding end of some yarn and it, it, it turns into a fluff ball. So here's what I'm talking about. You just wanna tie this a few times. And now you want to cut each one of these loops on each side and then kind of just play with it and it'll turn into a fluff ball. To attach it to the top of the hat, you're just gonna wanna stick one end of the string one way and the other end of the string the other way and tie it and clip the loose end so it's not like hanging out like mine is at the moment. Um, but yeah, if you could make this hat, sis, this hat is super easy. If you could make this, you could definitely make this next project, which is our scarf, the matching scarf. So you can have a cute little jumbo scarf and hat set. Now I'm going to be showing you um, how to make this scarf with this different kind of like, uh, I don't even want to call this yarn, but like material, just so you can see better. But if you are going to make a hat and or scarf, this kind of yarn, I do, whatever you want to call this, it's not yarn, but whatever you want to call this, I don't recommend you using. It's kind of weird. But you are just going to do your slip knot like we did before and make your chain. When I used um, the regular yarn that I used to make my hat, I did do approximately like five stitches in my chain. Um, with this one, I had did more just because of it, it's just weird. Like it doesn't give and I don't know. So I did I did like like 10 maybe, but you don't have to do that many if you're using the other kind. So again, going to our second row, you're just going to do the same exact thing that you did before. You just want to pull through the bottom of the chain. Just pull a loop through until you get to the end. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we are at the end, you just want to do a double loop to the end. So you just want to pull up. That's the start of the next chain. Do you see it? So there's a double loop. That's the start of the next chain. And then you just want to continue to do what you were doing before. So pulling through each of the other loops down the line. But when you get to the end, make sure you do a double to start your new chain. And this is really it. So you do that until you feel like your scarf is as thick as you want it. Um, I don't even remember how many like rows I did of this particular material. But I know in my other material I did like the width was like four chains. Four chain. I mean four links. Four stitches in the chain. And then I made it probably like ten rows. So... It was cute, and then if you do it looser than that, it'll be even faster. But even this didn't take me that long. It took about 20 minutes. So you just want to keep doing the same thing until you get it to where you want it, and then I'll show you how to end the scarf. So now this is how it looks. Mine, this is starting to look like a blanket with this kind of material, but I promise you it wouldn't look like this if you used the other stuff. So this is just for demonstrational purposes. I hope that was even the right terminology, but whatever. Um, okay, so each loop that we're going to have, you're going to fold that in half. As you can see, these are the loops from the top of the chain. You just wanna take that free end loop it through one of the loops on one end and then just loop it through another part of the opposite side of the scarf together because we're going to be making an affinity scarf so watch closely because i know i can be kind of confusing when i try to like you know what i'm saying explain it but it's really not that hard loop it through one end and attach it to the other and you just want to do that all the way up and then knot it off. It's not it off like, you know, sex. You know what I'm saying? trying to say. It sounds weird when I say that, but knot it off. And then you are done, sweetheart. This material, I feel like, would be so cute as a blanket. But as, but as an actual scarf, it's just really, like, obnoxious. So I'm going to show you the other two scarves that I made out of the other material. The white one is my favorite. Um, I did the white one then and I did the white one tighter than I did the blue one. So the blue one is looser and that one didn't take me as long to do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, sis. Let me know if you like this video. And if you want to see more, you know, videos like this, please let me know. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.